Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Red. We sold our eye clinic. And all our stuff. So that we could spend more time together as a family. And as a couple. Oh. Now we're traveling the world, living life reduced. reduced. Hello from the, the Outback. Outback. The Outback. What can we say about the Outback that would give you a sense of just how Outbackish it is? It's so. It's Outback. Like you think it is, and it's so not like you think it is. We love it. It's beautiful. It's raw. It is wild. Just to give you a sense of how big the Outback is, when we set out from Cairns with a ten-day uh, itinerary, itinerary, or a ten-day window we thought oh we'll be able to drive to Uluru to Ayers Rock which is kind of in the middle of the country did we make it well we google mapped it and it seemed like it would take about two and a half days so we thought maybe three days by day three we were half of the way there right so we just decided all right forget it but how did you enjoy what we did see you know, after I fine-tuned my expectations a little bit, it was wonderful. We had such a blast seeing the wild, seeing wild kangaroos, seeing the peacocks at the lake. Seeing flies up this close to our eyes and in our ears. <laughs> we saw a lot of wonderful things. Okay. Just got back to bust. The very first experience I have driving an RV is right side drive on the left side of the road in Australia. This is going to be an adventure in the Outback. Outback, here we come. You know, in all our travels, Mike and I have always been opposed to buying an RV. This may change. I contend that it's still not in our interest to buy an RV because we can always rent it. Back. Yeah, I guess you're right. But you know, you can always take possession of one temporarily, enjoy its use, and give it back. There you go. Life reduced. That's a life reduced. Yeah, Central you're right. Tenant. It is a life reduced. It, it is fun though, and and I think we've never really considered traveling by RV because I don't know why. It just seems like it'd be easier to fly. But the only we do love to drive. We do love to drive. The only time that it would make sense to to own an RV is if you were doing it full time. If you're doing right. it months and months and months and that's just how you lived. Who knew the Outback had so many flies? They're everywhere. You need to run through the flies, over. Colonel flies. Tell us when you're going to come out of the bathroom so that we can film you running, over. Go, Bella, go, go, go! <laughs> Darn it! That was that was. Hey hard. Bella, give us a report about the uh, state of flies in the bathroom. There were so many flies everywhere. In the bathroom too. In the bathroom too. All right, Z, your turn. Don't get killed by the flies. What are you doing? Bella, do you read my magazine? Do you read me? Oh, They're everywhere. They're in Myrtle. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many flies in the outback. Mom! We will Don't let them. Away, They're going to attack you! Zara! What? 
What are you doing? I'm setting up the table. You are what? Setting up the table. I didn't ask you to do that. Yeah, but I, but I still am. Wait, doesn't there need to be one more plate? Yeah. Wow, Z, that is so nice. Why did you decide to do that? Because I thought you would maybe like that I'm doing it. I love it. Thank you, honey. Hi. Hey, it's the missus. Can I come in and show everyone what? Sure. where we're living? It looks like the kitchen's set for dinner. Kitchen table set for dinner, and what are you cooking in the kitchen? I'm making spaghetti. Delicious. If you could only smell the sweet aroma emanating from that saucepan. <laughs> All right, I'll take you back this way. Hey, Bella and Zara. Yeah? I love your bedroom. This it's so it. cozy. No, this is not ours. This isn't ours. I mean, that is the bathroom. Well said, ZZ Top. This way, here we have the entertainment center. And Isaac, can I show everyone the top berth? Yeah. That looks comfortable. It's the most comfortable bed in the place. That's our humble abode, Isaac. Bella and Zara, and Renata, and, and you. Before coming to the Outback, I had never heard of a road train. They fascinate me. They're big and they're wild. They are so Outback. Twenty-one four wheeled axles and then one axle in the front with two wheels. So twenty times four is eighty, eighty-two. Eighty-two wheels on that thing. After a long day in the RV, we saw this public water park from the road and we had to stop. Oh my gosh, the flies here, they're horrible. Come on Zara, we're ready to go. Okay? Yeah, but is the is it where where is the park? 
back to the lookout points to the right. Male peacocks have have long tails, really long and like long longer oh, yeah, tails, so so they can go. Get it, Zara. Get it. What are you going to do, Zara, if it turns around and starts to head your way? Zara. Remember when we started in Bali, you could barely get your face wet, and now yeah. you just jump in the deep end, no big deal. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, Normanton, Australia, at the big giant pool at the caravan park. Dad, look what? at these bugs. Look at the bugs. Look at all this. Beautiful blue sky. <laughs> Did you float up? Did you not move your back? I, I pushed up with my feet. Oh. You know what? It's getting a little dark now, and I don't think we're going to get very much good video in the dark. Yeah. So I left Normanton in the morning, and when we pulled off the main highway to go to Croydon, uh, we came across a sign that said road closed, and you said to me... Can we just kind of go check? Of course. I say, we, I say we try. Let's at least go watch the water flow over the road. So we drove on. When we got there... We actually there, passed a cop. It was police. the police! That was who coming. just went like this. <laughs> That's what Australians do in the outback when they're driving. They go. <laughs> it's I true. think I want to do it now. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> when we got to the river, it was obvious that the sign that said road closed was accurate. So we stopped the car or the caravan on the side of the road and we all get out and walk all the way to the water's edge. There are these markers showing 
how high the water may be. And it was point point five. five. Point five. So half a meter. Yeah, about 18, 20 inches. And we were just sitting there, or standing there. We were just standing there, kind of contemplating everything. Isaac dared Mike to walk all the way to the actual bridge. I said, no way. There are crocs here, mate. Don't want my husband gone. And uh, we just kept watching. And we see this truck on the other side of us, on the opposite side. I think kind of contemplating it, maybe, I don't know what he was doing. So we, we'll go back to the truck, we get the drone, Mike decides to fly it. Yeah, I was just going to fly the, demonstrate the water going over the bridge. And as I'm flying the drone out towards the middle of the bridge, I notice in, in my little camera screen, oh, my word, the truck, it's on the bridge, it's going. Meanwhile, so I just I I, I caught it and I swerved, swerved around and I and I started following it across the bridge. Well, meanwhile, there was another truck that had come over on our side and had stopped at the water's edge. And in my head, I'm thinking, oh, this must be the guy's mate that's coming to help him in case he gets stuck. And it turns out that it was. But Mike says, I get out. So I get out and I go film it. And the guy that was on our side comes over and starts talking to me. What? Yeah. That's your drone. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Because he can get in trouble for doing that. What can, what can get in trouble? Oh, he can he lose can? his license. Oh, I see. He's not supposed to be doing that. And I can see that drone. I'm thinking, might oh be Oh my gosh, it. no, it's, it's us. We're just tourists. Oh, We're just well, tourists. Lucky, I'm seeing that. I'm thinking, no, no, nah, because if, if the cop see that, he can Yeah, 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 us. yeah. I see. Yeah, no yeah. Thanks, bye. They think that we're cops. It was a, cro a cop drone. And I said, no, 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 we're just tourists. We're just filming this cool thing. <laughs> Funny story. We just thought it was cool. Such a cool story. And so fortunate that right as I'm flying the drone, right after I launch it, the guy starts to make his attempt at crossing it. Yeah. And he did it. And the funny thing is we didn't show it on the video, but maybe 10 minutes later, he crossed back again. Oh yeah, he did. He crossed right back. So we didn't know what they were doing. Don't know what they were doing, but anyway.